Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me, as always. Yeah. All right, in my last video, I received a comment by, uh, uh, you know, a name that I cannot pronounce, so uh, I'm going to call you Benjamin. So, hello, Benjamin. <laughs> and he says, hey, Grips, can you please make a video creating custom profiles? So, what he's saying, he has an aspect ratio of 21 by 9, which is 2560 by 1080s. And these days, that is not uncommon. There is quite a lot of these widescreen monitors that are coming out, and that is the current aspect ratio. But what he's having problem with is this. When he goes into setting up his own prop properties, uh, it goes into new, it goes into general, this here is then grayed out. And he said, I, I, don't, know how to, I don't know how I can change it to set up the properties of 2560 by 1080. All right, Benjamin, I'll show you how to go about doing this. All right, now, first off, I would highly recommend downloading this codec, Exavit codec. There's another one that you can get, it's called Lagrith. I'll leave the descriptions for the links, or I'll leave the links in the description. That's better, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, these are really powerful codecs that are great for compressing uh, big files and retaining really high quality. So that is definitely a, a go. Once you have downloaded, installed it, then relaunch our Corel Video Studio because now it is in the database. So let's go to settings, project properties. Now, because you are creating your very own profile and you want to change the, the, uh, the aspect ratio, there is only one option and that is AVI. So let's go into AVI. AVI basically is an extension or a file extension which just represents a container like MOV. Uh, these are all just containers that you can open up and throw in your codec, your dimensions, your audio codecs. That is what it does. So once you have your container, then you go into new and then just name it whatever it is you want. I'm going to call it test and I'm going to go straight to general and I'm just going to change my frame rate to whatever the, the clip that I'm currently using. So it's 23.98, so 23.97, close enough. Now frame type, this is interesting as well. Uh, I think lower field is NTCS and upper field is uh, uh, PAL. If you really don't know, stay with frame base. You can't really go wrong with that. So now you can see I have the option of changing the aspect ratio. And as you can see, I've already entered 2560 by 1080. So I am good to go there. So voila, there you go, problem solved. Go into the AVI and now you can see in the compression, you uh, just click down, opens up your drop down menu and you'll see right at the bottom now, XVIT MPEG codec. Yay, click that. Now, if you don't really know what's going on, I would just recommend pressing OK, OK, and then you're done. For those who want to be a little bit more uh, daring, go into configure. Okay, I'll show you something else. If I go into the recommended, uh, recommended uploading and coding settings from YouTube, you'll see here that they recommend for 4K and 2K. So uh, 56 megabytes. I, I'm so used to KPBS that I call everything 53,000 or 68,000. Now 1080 here is 12,000 or 12 megabytes. So that is the recommended uh, bit rate that we need to set up. So let's do that. So let's go into here. So I've already got mine set up. My target bit rate is the 15,000 or 15 megabytes. You most likely will have, I'm gonna go back to default so you know what, it's, what I'm going on. All right, first thing, quality, bring it right down. And then you see encoding, you can then change here target quantizer and go bang 15,000 is what i would recommend all right as you can see the slider only goes so far but in actuality you can go much further than that you've got single pass and two pass now uh, i've explained this before in another video this will retain even better quality but again it's a longer rendering a file size is much larger so stay with the single pass for now and that's fine press ok and then press OK, and then press OK again. Now, here's the magic. You'll see now that my current project setting is 1920 by 1080, and if I change that, you'll see now that the preview window is much larger. So, bam, we've all oh, good. And then you go to share. If you want to retain that ratio, just go same as project settings, and you can see here that my project settings matches the, uh, the clip property. So, or the, the properties from the, yeah, well, <laughs> the project settings. <laughs> my, my, my. So there you go, my friends, or Benjamin, that's how you want to change the aspect ratio in your project settings. And as always, thanks for watching.